Dear Ones I am Archangel Michael. Regarding the actions demonstrated in yesterday's video. It is very important, my brothers, that whoever is willing to be part of this group, this is a commitment that cannot be broken. I told you yesterday that to treat 10 people, you need to have 100 people acting on them. Of course, if it's 99 it won't make that much of a difference, but if everyone thinks, ah. It's just me who's going out. It's just me who's not going today. It's just me who won't do it, in a little while, you'll be 80, 70, 60 and then the treatment won't do any good. So my brothers, this is a commitment to each other. Think about this, today in the group being treated, there may not be anyone you know, but tomorrow there could be. So don't belittle anyone who needs help. This is training. You are being trained in the action of caring for others, commitment to caring for others. So act responsibly. If you think you can't do it, don't join groups, because people will be counting on you. Only those who can actually commit to carrying out the process enter. If you're not sure, don't go in, don't compromise. Everything is being organized to make it happen in the best way possible. Continuing our classes. So now you are very aware of what happened, what is happening, with the entry of these energies, which come from the Alcyon Sunday. Very good. In the same way that you were changed, so that all these feelings, all the dirt that is inside came out, what happened to the other side? So let's learn about it today. All the beings that are here, and that we have commented on, are called dark. They are not beings born on this planet. They are beings who came from far away, with great preparation, with a lot of technology, a lot of wisdom. But the feelings that resonate within these beings are not good feelings. These are always the worst feelings possible, given what is happening on your planet right now. You have been used to resonating with these feelings, and many do, many are perfectly adapted, they feel no remorse, do not feel pain, they do not feel compassion they don't feel anything for others. The other, the other brother, is nothing, for them it is nothing, it is just a soul that they can use in the future to help them. No, I'm not going to go into details about these beings yet. This is further on. I'm talking about energies and their action on your planet. So in regards to them, what happened? No, they are not beings from Tercera, if they were you they would see them. They are high dimensional beings, that's why you don't see them, but they are there with you all the time, they always have been. So all this light affects not just their metal, but their bodies as well. I'm not going to tell you that they are destroyed by that light. No, if that were the case there would be none walking around, there would be but none on the surface of your planet. They would all have already been extinguished. So this is not what happens. Just, in the same way that the light brought out of you, this cleansing, this change, this also happens to them. The light tries to do the same thing, cleanse these energies that they vibrate. Because they are highly evolved beings, they are able to protect themselves from this light. So, the vast majority are not affected, they are not affected by this light that is arriving. So how to destroy them? This will also be much later, when we will tell you how they were destroyed. But this light, it does not destroy them, as beings, but it destroys many of the traps they set, many of the networks they set up, so much so that the great dark network that existed around the planet was destroyed. So many places that served as shelter for them, because they were completely wrapped in these nets, became uncovered and then it was much easier for the light to find them. Then I will encompass this light, not just the light that comes from Alcyon's sun, but the light that comes from the beings that are around your planet, participating in this process. So, little by little, these beings were imprisoned and taken to be perfected. I won't go into the merits of what happened to them here, but they were taken to be treated and improved. So my brothers, this light did not eliminate them from the planet, 
it just took down all the, the forts, the hiding places, the great protections, that they had, were destroyed by this light, and then they exposed themselves. And then it became easier for them to be captured and taken away. Practically today, there are no longer any bases, as you like to call them, any military bases for these beings. All were destroyed. Practically all. There are those that are very close to you. So we have to be careful with these. We cannot destroy them without affecting those around us. So my brothers, this light has enormous power. It is a light with a lot of energy, it is a light of great power, a transformative power. So when we say, I'm going to come back to this subject, that those who don't resonate with the fifth dimension will not ascend, then many will ask themselves, but if they are not beings of the third dimension, they are evolved beings, how will they be prevented from going, ascending? That's the big process, my brothers. There it is. Our job is to get them all off the planet. You who are human and who do not resonate with the fifth will be easily removed. Now they don't. So do you realize that we have to search for and remove every single one of them from the planet? Can't we leave any? Little by little, you will begin to understand how difficult this process is, how complicated this process is. They are not easy beings to kill, but in the same way that they have technologies in their favor, we also have them in our favor. So there's no point in them dressing up in human clothing, because we know who they are. Remember, we do not see physical bodies, we see energy and we know exactly what energy they have. So, we can see exactly where each of them is. Therefore, the process, my brothers, cannot be done in a desperate way, it has to be done very cautiously, with a lot of planning, why do you think they are leaving the planet without any reprisals? Do you think they are being captured and nothing is happening? as a reprisal for these actions? Are you sure about this? All you need to do is observe some things that are happening on your planet. Each group that is removed, those that remain here on the planet, do something to destroy Gaia. So understand, the fight is not easy, because they have everything ready. Something happens here, they just press a single button and something happens. So my brothers, that's what we say that we have to do everything very wisely, with a lot of planning, because before we take some actions, we have to destroy traps that they created, so that you are not hit, so that Gaia is not hit. We told you a while ago, nuclear weapons no longer work. They might try to use them. If they were working, you would no longer be on the surface of this planet, you would have already been extinct because they would have already used these weapons to destroy this planet. So, this was one of the first steps we took, was to destroy these weapons. Many think they are there, ready to attack. You can even try, but nothing will happen, because they were destroyed, otherwise, you would no longer exist, and they know it. So their way of retaliating against everything that is being done is to attack Gaia, is to attack you is to do, to bring chaos into their lives, bring more and more fear, the absurdities, the evils, the violence, that's what they are doing, emanating more and more violence, because they control the media. So you end up being controlled along with what you end up being controlled along with what you see. So my brothers, the battle is still going on. When we say that we have already won, yes, we have already won, because today, at this very moment, we know exactly where everything is, where are the traps they made, where are the remnants of leaders who are also incarnated in who each person is. But before we do anything we have to destroy all of this, destroy every trap. And rest assured, these are not simple traps. There are traps in series, which if one bursts here, will burst across the entire planet because they have prepared themselves for many years for this moment, because they knew this moment was going to happen. They didn't do all that now. This has been ready for a long time. They knew that the planet would enter the photon belt, and would ascend. 
They always knew, but they didn't know that we would succeed, make you ascend. They didn't think so, but as a precaution they created a bunch of traps all over the planet. If one is blown up, all the others will be in series, and will cause a lot of problems on your planet, as they are traps placed at strategic points, in vital points on your planet. So the work is not over yet. The work is still going on, but everything has to be done with a lot of preparation, with a lot of planning, but this will all come to an end. Be sure of that. We have managed to destroy much worse things, we have already destroyed things and messages they had on their planet. These traps, we will put in place, may be the last obstacle to final defeat, so be patient. Everything will happen at the right time, so that you are not hit, and especially so that Gaia is not hit. Enough of so many wounds on Gaia. He arrives. She has already been hurt enough. So my brothers, the subject of the energies of the son of Alcyon is closed. I have already demonstrated what happened, it is happening to you, and I have already demonstrated today what happens with the Dark Ones. Very good. Now we can start talking about the history of your universe on the planet. I don't know. Tomorrow you will know exactly the new topic we will cover. I am Archangel Michael. Rest assured that we are already winners. All that remains is to clear enemy territory.